Hey, AJ, let's start with uh, that 14-yard touchdown. I mean, that, that's the type of play that can change a season for you guys. Could you just talk about what happened and, and your effort to get there? Um, I had a slant route. Uh, I was really just trying to make a play. Um, I knew I was going to uh, break the first tackle because how he came at me, he was like slinging his body around, and I just kind of went with his momentum. Didn't know all that was going to happen at the, at the end, but I was just trying to really get the first down. And I looked up and I was in, I was in a uh, touchdown, so. Chris Harris. Hey, Jay, can you just kind of speak to the team and resilience team coming back in the, in the fourth quarter and then making the plays that you guys needed to in OT? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Sure, sorry, can you hear me now all right? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me all right? If you can just kind of speak to the team's resiliency and making the plays that you had to make. I mean, you guys outscored them 20 to three down the stretch to come back and get a road win. I think we just started, we just started, uh, <clears throat> just started making plays. That's, that's what it come down to in this, in this league. Uh, in the second half, we started putting some, some drives together. Um, defense helping us out. Defense giving us momentum. And we just started going, just started rolling. Um, and over time, um, we knew only, it only took one play, and uh, Derry did a good job of working the target and getting it done. Luke? AJ, when you've lost three out of four games heading into a game as big as this one, can it become difficult to, to sort of remember your identity as a team and what got you to the, you know, the 5-0, and o, the 6-1 and one start? And, and does a game like this sort of, sort of reconfirm that to you all in the locker room? Um. I think whenever you get a win, it gives you confidence, you know. Uh, and then when you when you when you lose, you you kind of you kind of trying to figure some things out. I think we we know our identity, you know. We just gotta believe in our identity and, and go out there and make plays and, and just do what we do. Um, it definitely it's tough. This is a big big game, big opponent. It's a great team over there. Uh, as you see, we went overtime. Um, it was a big boy fight. So. What's the key to doing that more consistently in the future? To be honest, just just playing our style of football, you know, uh, this is the NFL. Uh, you're not just going to go out there and just roll over everybody. Um, you just got to show up each and every week. We know it's week to week. We don't try to get into the record stuff. Or, uh, whenever we was five and up, we, we, didn't, we didn't try to really just get into the, all that. We just just trying to get a win each week. But like I said, it's the NFL. You know, teams going to dial up different stuff. They're going to come ready to play. You got to come ready to play every week. So it's a week to week league. Terry. AJ, I apologize. Got in a little late. You probably have already answered this once, but the play you made on the touchdown, uh, people on social media already talking about it as one of the plays of the year and all. Uh, talk about – just or take us through how, how that kind of went down. It just seemed like you just broke tackle after tackle, and, and the determination was that you were going to get there no matter what. Uh, my, mind, my mindset was to get the first down. Uh, I was going to try to run through the catch. As soon as I caught the ball, the safety came down and hit me. And uh, but I knew I had to get a first down. Uh, you know, we needed a touchdown out of field goal, so I was just trying to get the first down. And I was trying to do whatever it, it took to, to get the first down. And I looked up and I and I saw the end zone. And I was like, oh, I'm about to score. So I just hold on to the ball and we take the ball. So my teammates did a good job of pushing me in in, in the back to, to keep me going, keep my momentum going forward. So. Jim. And AJ, when you did score, what was what did you hear when you got back to the sideline when you reached when you reached the end zone on that play? Uh, I took I, I, a lot of stuff. I don't, I really don't know. I was dead tired. Like, I was trying to come out after the two point conversion, so I wasn't really listening to nobody. Uh, but it was just telling me good play. So, and, and on the Henry run, you, you obviously doing your. You were in there for that, weren't you? I know you left the game at some point with the with the. With an injury, were you back in there for the final run? No, I, I had just came out. I had just came out. Uh, I had told Derek uh, going into overtime, uh, we need like a 99 yarder or something like that to go in the game because he he definitely capable of it. So I told him go and get the game over with. <laughs> what was your vantage point on the run when you saw him break into space and score? Again, <laughs> we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Uh, we just, he just needed an opportunity. Uh, like I told him, I said, go win the game right now already. Um, <laughs> I told him, actually, you take it too long. <laughs> Glennon. 
Hey, AJ. Um, I know uh, a little bit uncharacteristic of you last couple of weeks have been maybe a, a drop or two. How satisfying was it to, to kind of make such a big play uh, out there today, um, you know, and, and really play a key role, especially there in the in the second half? Um, just trying to get going, trying to eliminate all, all, the, all those things, like, like a drop here and there. You know, it's tough. Um, unfortunately, in this league, I'm, I'm going to drop some more. I'm not trying to drop anything. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I'm definitely just trying to make a play with my numbers call. Uh, in the second half, I got an opportunity, and uh, I made the most of it. Thanks. A couple more for you, AJ. Buck? What's going on, AJ? You you and Corey both had pretty impressive days. How much do you feed off of each other's energy when you're both hey. on blow for blow in that kind of in that kind of moment? Oh, it's most definitely a, a great feeling when, when both of us both of us clicking. We feed off each other. We catching balls. We, you know, he telling us what, what he see. I'm telling him what he see. Uh, um, it definitely give us a boost, uh, a confidence in, in, in ourselves and and <laughs> and with uh with, with Ryan. So um, <clears throat> that's definitely a good feeling. Last question, Corey Curtis. AJ, the, uh, the competitiveness started before the game at midfield on this one. What was it like out there? Was it as nasty as it as it appeared? Oh. Uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was just trying to keep the peace, you know. <laughs> so uh, I was just trying to keep everybody calm, you know. Uh, but um, they definitely set the bar high. They, they, they set the tone early. The coaches, not even the players. So uh, when the, when the coach was was chirping back, you know, uh, it told us what kind of game it was going to be. It was going to be a physical game. It's going to be a heavyweight matchup. So. So uh, Harbaugh was talking to you guys beforehand. Yeah, I think it was, it was back and forth. It was back and forth. I didn't think. Uh, Harbaugh was going to come up and, and confront like he did. But, you know, like I said, I was trying to keep the peace. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. 